When we open a lesson, the first page is displayed, showing brief information on the contents of that lesson. Today we are going to look at the lesson on clothes, colours, sizes and prices. The focus of the lesson is to practice and learn vocabulary, but also listening, reading and grammar connected with this area of vocabulary. We can either do the activities according to the suggested order, or use the buttons at the top of the page to shift the page list backward and forward. I'll show you some of the activities from this lesson. Let's start. Let's click the dice and put the word in the right column. Gloves in cold weather, a suit and shorts in hot weather. For each exercise there is an additional tool, activity report. The tool shows how well the exercise was done, the number of correct and wrong answers and the percentage result. When we click this button we can see additional information. We can choose to see the correct answers, the errors or correct answers to all questions. Also the answers can be deleted from the exercise and you can do it again. Let's go back to the lesson. Several pages of the course consist of two or more sub-pages where the subsequent parts of one exercise are found. In this chapter there is an exercise to practice vocabulary. On the left we can see a list of words. When we click the button we can also listen to the words. Socks. Trainers. Scarf. Also we can practice individual words. Swimming costume. Gloves. At the top of the page there is a button which opens animated help with the exercise. Blouse Coat Dress Students can watch this video and learn new words that go with audio, so they can practice pronunciation too. After having studied these words, now we can practice, so let's open the next page. The course consists of a lot of interactive exercises to practice words that you have studied. You can also practice spelling. T R A I N E R S Activity Report We can practice vocabulary in a variety of exercises. Here, matching. A boy with sunglasses is here. A girl wearing a scarf here. We can also check the answers. A shirt, a tie, a jacket, trousers and shoes. A blouse, earrings, a skirt and high-heeled shoes. A uniform, black boots, glasses. We can also practice pronunciation of words connected with clothes. Here, students listen to the original sentences. Excuse me, what size is this jacket? Record their own. Excuse me, what size is this jacket? Excuse me, what size is this jacket? And can compare the pronunciation to the native speaker's sentences. We can also learn vocabulary by playing games. Students have fun and don't think about Baseball learning. Baseball cap. Cardigan. Students should find pairs, a picture and a word. The word cards are accompanied with an audio track and it helps remember how the word is pronounced. When a pair is found, the cards disappear and you win the game when all the cards are done. The course includes a lot of listening activities. Here we're in a clothes shop and want to buy a jacket. Let's imagine the situation. Excuse me, what size is this jacket? It's 46. Oh, good. Yes, of course, here you are. Can I try it on? Excuse me, what size is this jacket? Um, it's 46. Oh, good. Can I try it on? Yes, of course. Here you are. Thanks. The exercises are arranged in such a way that in a given lesson you get a wide range of different activities. They might be done with the help of a teacher, might be done in a classroom, or might be used individually by the students at home because students get feedback immediately. Here we're practicing the dialogue at a clothes shop. 
The software contains some additional tools. Here we can open the grammar tool. It will give an overview of all grammar issues introduced in the course. The tool enables searching the grammar material by lessons where it has been introduced or according to grammatical subjects arranged in alphabetical order. When you click the item on the list, on the right side of the window an explanation will appear. He's wearing a hat, a coat, a scarf, boots and gloves. Examples of sentences are provided accompanied by sound effects. We can also open a dictionary any time we want during the lesson, so there is no need to look for the words in a separate dictionary. All the words used in the course can be found here, either by typing the word jacket using the letters of the alphabet or just choosing the word from the list. Dictionary entries include some sample sentences which can be listened to and there is some more most important grammar information about the given word. One of the outstanding tools students may use is phrases. Phrases is a tool containing a collection of commonly applied expressions in English. All expressions are provided with recordings. Art College And finally, speech analysis tool that allows to practice pronunciation. The tool enables the user to record his own pronunciation Jacket. and compare it to the recording of a native speaker. Jacket. After some difficult exercises, it's time for fun. In this exercise, the word is displayed on the right. And as you can see, we need to dress the pilot up so that he isn't cold. Socks. Okay, so these are socks. A t-shirt. No, it's not a t-shirt. Okay, trousers. This exercise is a fantastic way to practice vocabulary. Here. Close. In order to practice reading skills, we can also find some very interesting exercises in the course that allow the students to practice the vocabulary that they have studied and see the words in the context. Teachers might decide to use such exercises as core material for their lesson or might want to use it as supplementary exercises for the students to practice at home. To improve students' language, we can practice grammar and to make it even more interesting, Instead of sitting in the classroom and writing in a notebook, students may do some interactive exercise in which they get feedback immediately. I usually wear a tie at work. I don't wear one at home usually, only if we have very important visitors or something. But I nearly always wear a tie if I go out for a meal or to the theatre or cinema or something like that. Also, they can listen to these sentences, which is not always possible in a classroom full of 20 students. Here they get the full attention of a very patient teacher, 24-7 English. I never wear a tie. I always wear makeup when I go out. The last page of each lesson contains lesson report. It shows the results of individual exercises as well as the overall result. There are two buttons on the report page which allow the user to see all errors and reset all exercises. It is very important both for the students who can see in which areas they need to do some more exercise which they have done successfully. But it may also be a great source of information for the teacher who would immediately know which areas of the lesson need to be revised.